the North Texas Mean Green. Now, this could be an interesting season for Seth Luttrell. They went 6-7 and seven last year. They finally made it back to a bowl game, but that is his third straight losing season. And I am not sure what to make of this team. Their postgame win expectancy last year, 6.36 and 5.64. Uh, that's right on par with where they were. They finished 6-6. Six and six. Um they, they did good in conference last year. Started out very poorly. Finished, I mean, super strong on the back half of the schedule. But this was not an offensive team, and that's what Seth Luttrell has always been known for. When he didn't get out of there when he had a chance to replace uh, Bill Snyder at Kansas State, you, you kind of thought he would just keep things rolling in North Texas, but he hasn't been able to hit on a quarterback in quite some time. Again, 6-7 and seven last year. They were 9-4 and four against the spread. This was a pretty decent football team. They're number 30 in returning production, 73%, and even better than that on offense, 84% coming back on offense. The problem with that is that it wasn't the offense that they leaned on last year. It was the defense. Defense was number 28 in PPA per drive. The offense was number 81 in that regard. Uh, we'll start off with the offense here. Uh, obviously, the, the losses. The running back, DeAndre Torrey, he was a boss last year absolute boss but they do have some running backs that played really really well last year so you still got your number two and number three options uh the end of the season was led by a rushing offense there uh, along with that defense while you're losing the running back Tory, you got a three-headed beast with ragsdale johnson and adey i hope i said that right and then you got four offensive linemen starters coming back uh as good as the rushing offense was towards the end of the season Overall, they were number 71 in rushing success rate. So you got to hope that they come out of the out of the gate banging right off the bat. My question at quarterback, is Grant Gannell, who transferred in from Memphis, um, is he going to beat out Austin on? Uh, and now I've got to double check and make sure that my notes were right on this because I, I don't know. I thought Grant Gannell maybe went over to somewhere else. I thought he went to... Auburn, and of course, this is great radio for me to be doing this right in the middle of the show, but I do want to double-check the roster and make sure that I've got the right stuff. Uh, North Texas, quarterback, yeah, Grant Gunnell, transferred in, senior, uh, 85.62 rating. Yeah, okay, okay, let's uh, let's talk about it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I, that's what I want to know. Is Grant Gunnell going to... Like he transferred from Memphis. He didn't get to play at Memphis last year. He was the presumed starter for the Tigers last season, but he went out with an injury before the first game. And then, of course, Seth Hennigan took over for the Tigers. No reason for him to stick around. And honestly, he couldn't go into a better place. North Texas, I, from what I understand, still not totally sold on old Austin there. Uh, he, he has not been great. I mean, he's 29 years old. He played six years with the Yankees minor league organization. He still isn't doing the things that Seth Luttrell needs. They got three starting wide return, uh, wide receivers returning. This is a team that is talented enough, and and yet hadn't been able to get it out of them. Uh, they were number one twelve in passing success rate last year. So there you go. I, the offense has to produce better this season uh, because the defense is going to take a bit of a step back. As far as defense, four two five scheme, it took a hit when the uh, the defensive line, Murphy Brothers, of course, transferred over to UCLA. Arkansas transfer, Enoch, um, the nose guard, Roderick Brown. Uh, he earned CUSA freshman honors. The back seven is experienced here. Linebackers stacked with KD Davis, Larry Nixon III, Kevin Wood. Defense backs only return two starters, but there is talent in the secondary. I I feel okay about the defense. Uh your your sixty two percent returning production is okay. It's number seventy one in the country, but I don't know that they're going to be able to do what they did last season, right? The rushing success rate they were number seventeen in rushing success rate allowed last year. Without the Murphy brothers, I don't know that you're going to be able to reproduce that. I don't know that you can replicate. Uh, looking at the keys to the season here, offense significantly more talented than the defense, uh, but the defense was the strong suit last year. Can they carry the load again? And I don't believe that they can to the same extent. Latrell's offense needs a spark in the passing game. Uh, can On take another step? Uh, Oni, however you say his last name, I never know. Uh, or is Gunnell the better option? That's what I want to know. Um, and then finally, 
you got to clean up the turnovers. You got to clean up the penalties. You got to be able to finish drives better. They were not good in that regard last year. Penalties per game, number 109. Uh, you can't have that if you've got like a number 65 turnover margin. You just you can't beat yourself in these games. They've got to be better at that. So play better fundamental football, and this team could be really, really good. Uh, oh, yes, my projected record here, 7-5 and five for this team. I could see anywhere from 5 wins to 8 wins, anywhere in between. I like 7-5 and five here. Uh, got losses to SMU, Memphis, UTSA, Western Kentucky, and UAB. There's a lot of other ones that I could see them. Like maybe they lose at UTEP. Or maybe they end up beating uh, Western Kentucky, something like that. Uh, but I think this is an, a good football team, not great football team. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.